saying goodbye to our little town. We're packed in like sardines. We all made a croissant run. We, we got two types of croissants from two different places so we can confirm which croissant shop is the best. We're trying a new croissant shop today. And also show them the bread. Oh, oh we'll, really. get, we'll get it, we'll oh, get no, it. No, 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 see no, the no. pan? All right. I got Alex a special piece of bread. Cause oh, cause she said it looks, it looks like, like a tree. Like that a twig. is lovely. Aw, thanks lovely. Cal. All right, let's hit the road, kids. Hit We're on to our next destination. Where are we going, Cal? We're going to the French Riviera. We're off to the Riviera! Oh my God, we're screaming, because look what we just found after the other day's misadventure. We found the most lavendery field of all. Oh my God. Oh my Sick. gosh. Cal, are you freaking out? This is, this is the most beautiful I've never seen anything like this. I cannot believe we were so sad the other day. This one is just, oh my God, do you see that butterfly? Whoa. Whoa. You can hear the hums from the entire field. It sounds like a helicopter or something. Look! We cannot believe we found this just off the side of the road. You can hear the buzzing of like a million bees. I happened to bring my little Pandora charm because I wanted to get something to remind me of every place we visited. And this little bee, you can't see it. And this little bee is my reminder of this field and I happened to be driving by and we actually found one. Dan's droning because why not? Not me taking over Alex's vlog because we are just pulling up to the most amazing villa. We have a small gated gate to get through. Gated small gate. Small gated gate. All right. You excited, Al? Yes. Let's Look go. at us go. She's ah. gonna open the, the upper gate. This is the we'll lower gate. Up. Oh my god. From the villa. Look at this hill. Please continue straight up in Park Trail. If she will open the second gate from the villa, you'll see my red bull toy. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <gasps> I'm so this thrilled. This is fucking epic. This is unbelievable. Guys, what is, is our car gonna make it? What do we do? Where are we? <laughs> we are Oh my god, get, is, is that car gonna make, make it? Car's making it, don't the worry. Making it, don't okay, worry. Okay. Dan's got it, don't worry, guys. Sorry, guys, it's our luggage and our weight. <laughs> no. This is. Oh, guys, guys. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god, get. What? The carport? What? No. No, Dude, no. This, it looks like. There's a cute dog. <laughs> hey, boy. We are touring the home. Okay, this is <laughs> this is our dinner tonight. Like, are you actually serious with this view? We couldn't decide between pizza or Thai, so why not have it all? Oh my goodness! Yes, our ice bucket has been transferred up here. I mean, we are. Oh my gosh, life is good. We couldn't decide which table. This table, that table. That table. Look at the bathtub in this freaking step down bathroom. And you can't see now, but there's like a whole view of the freaking pool out there. I cannot with this house. We can't wait to give you a tour tomorrow. We cannot believe it. We are confused. How we are, we feel like we're in Home Alone or Richie Rich. Like, how are we allowed to run around free here like children? Oh my gosh. This is what we woke up to. This view are you kidding me today we will do a house tour good morning i'm upstairs everyone else is by the pool i have to show you i really want to give you guys the full tour but more so than that i just want to party man i just want to show you what we're working with here look at my companions down here I took a giant bath. Our bathroom has like a giant bathtub. Like, we're like, do we even leave this place to see what's out there? Because I don't know if this is like ultimate amazing comfort. It's a literal mansion. There's four of us running loose in the mansion and we feel like we're kids. It's Friday, baby. It's 
<laughs> What's happening here? Okay, we are going to our first dinner out in the south of France. Look at our freaking house. Sorry, but I do think I'm a vibe. We did nothing but literally be in the pool all day, and Kelly and I got ready really quickly. I don't know. I feel like I put so much stress on myself to like look the part, but I'm like, when I just throw it together, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Look at our freaking house, though. Oh, I can't believe we're leaving it. Where am I sitting? Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get into the car. You know when you don't know like who's whatever side is on. Oh my gosh, we're literally going to this town right over here for dinner right now. I like that car, it's iconic. <laughs> this town is so beautiful. I like can't handle it. Oh my gosh. Just a casual cannon built into the wall. This is so cute. We are all absolutely losing it here. This is so beautiful. That was the most charming little walk I've probably ever done. Oh my God. Look at the view of the people we just passed. I didn't want to film them obviously and disturb their dinner, but I was like, ah, I wanted you guys to see the restaurant because it was so cool. I'm just like living. Oh my God, I think we might be eating up here and I'm losing it. Oh my gosh, we are having the most magical dinner of all time. This is called Le Remparts. It's your spicy one. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, look at yours as a cherry. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. <gasps> Pretty. <laughs> oh. oh my god, we have Coke Monsieur little like fingers, the dippy egg. We've got foie gras here and salads with tomatoes here. Literally this view, everything's wow. starting to twinkle. <laughs> this is literally a meal I'm taking over the road, Alex. We've got Sparky doing the lighting here. This is the ravioli. This is the beef steak with shallots and potatoes. And Dan got an aged beef burger with, what was it? Smoked cheese yep. and some delicious wedges. Stunning. Whoa. Look at the moon. This little town is so beautiful. There was people playing bocce ball outside of the bar. Like, it's just like, it's late here. People are just still out doing stuff. I'm just into this vibe, okay? We're feeling it. Well, we are going to explore. We're driving through Nice right now, but we are headed to explore. Where are actually- Antibes. Oh, we are going to Antibes. This is Antibes, yeah. We're, we're going, we're, I thought, more like all right, we, we're just having a confusion, but we are headed to Cap Jean Ferrat to go to a beautiful beach, but we just are driving through Nice and it's very cool to see. It's, it feels like it's Miami, but French, like French chic Miami on the water. I don't know, it's a very interesting. Oh, there's oh. a carousel! Oh my God, cute! There's a little carousel, a little park. This is very cool. Oh. oh my god! Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. This is nice. Whoa. Where? Oh my gosh, we made it to this really cute town and there's this beautiful marina. There's so many little like shops and restaurants. We have no idea what we're getting into, but we're gonna explore. Oh yeah. Oh wow. All right. We are here, we are exploring. It is hot. <laughs> it's boiling. It is boiling. So many cute little houses and stuff here. Mm. This little free shuttle. We're gonna catch that shuttle on the way back. It is hot. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be such a lovely day. Oh my gosh, this is our little spot for the day. Look at that water. I can't wait to get in there. The name of the beach, if you're wanting to come here, is Paloma Beach. And there's a little beach club down here we're trying to get a walk-in reservation to.
Oh, we just took a dip. It, the water is so clear and so nice. Oh, I'm in heaven. She looks so good. Grew up in the same neighborhood. And that's out of rough salt in the wound. Spend a few hours on the reservoir. We are in Villa Franche Seme and it's like a little gorgeous, almost like Italian looking, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> She's losing it because her drink is delicious. What is it called? Let me go, let me read it. Let me read the ingredients. You need to recreate this. Everyone's gonna want to try it. Ingredients in this guys are cold black tea. Ooh. Freshly squeezed orange juice, pineapple puree, lemon juice, cinnamon syrup, and blossom orange water. Let's see it. I just ruined she's raving it, about it. Whatever. Like, like we know that it was look, It was like really pretty, and it was like all like. I will say it was delicious. This is what I got, and Callie's trying it. I'm modeling. It's like yes, it's a little prosecco, Saint Germain, little z lemon zest moment. Shit, that's fresh. That's so fresh. Yeah, it's Saint Germain uh, grapefruit. No, elderflower. elderflower. Do you know I make my own elderflower um, syrup? How? Well, me and Dan went foraging in Waltham so And wet you found marshes. real Yeah, we just picked them elderflowers? The and you take them home and you put them in a wet, they call them a water bath, and you like clean them all of the bugs and stuff. And then you put them with citrus and then you just like slowly infuse them in like uh, kind of like slowly bring them to a, not a boil, but like just a simmer. A light simmer. A simmer. And then you just take, um, you take out the, 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 you sit, like slow it down with sugar and you make a, a sugar syrup and you can make like your own elderflower syrup. Oh, that's lush. It's fine. Back to this town. It's incredible. It's the cutest little seaside town. We had the best time at the beach club today and we somehow got this little waterfront table. Here's our view. And we're not gonna enjoy dinner now. So it's been a lovely day. Stun in. Stun in. That ceviche looks amazing. These are lobster rolls, shrimp lollies, and fish tacos. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What? This looks insane. Okay, so we decided it was imperative to stop for clips. I'm not, I'm just joking when I say it like that. That is how they say it, but I'm, I think it's silly when I say it. So anyway, we stopped for some crepes and we're hoping they're very good. We've all been wanting one this trip and we haven't had one yet. I think I'm gonna go with the classic. Lemon, lemon, sugar. Sugar. This is absolutely happening. No, these are phenomenal. These are absolutely phenomenal. We're doing a little these sampler are, platter. I actually think this might have been better than the one we got in Paris. Do you think? I don't know, there's something. Maybe. I don't know what it is about this town, but there's just so many people. It's like late and people are just walking around with their dogs and babies and it's like such a bustling, like, I think living in LA, you kind of have to drive everywhere. I love the walkability. I don't know, it just feels so charming to see people like live their little everyday lives and get to witness it. I love it. I think it's very, very lovely. People have, I just love the Mediterranean lifestyle. Yeah. I feel like people just live a slower life. They're just more, I don't know, they just live so in tune with the rhythm. The rhythm. They're like in the rhythm of life. They I mean, we're watching just like families with their kids, just like chilling and by the water, and like kids are playing. But it's like adults still have have their, you know. It's like I don't know. It doesn't feel like a separation. Yeah, I don't feel like it's like that in America as much. No, and I just and also just like I feel like it's safe. I don't know. Just parents just seem to let their kids just play, be having fun. It's just so nice, and also just. It's just vibey. I love it. And also the houses. Look at the house. Like, honestly. I know. Everything's so we, beautiful. Like, come on. So like, look at this. Look at these mint green shutters. Like, get real. It's in the center of the city. I know? just love that there's so many people walking around. I know it's silly, but like, no, I, love I take too. it for granted because it's just not like this in LA at all. And it's not like this where we live. Oh my God. Look at this at night. It's so cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Literally, the most chic little beach club I've ever been to. I'm losing it. I am absolutely obsessed. Yeah. Okay. 
some little crepe truck and we got this cola granita. It's so crispy. Oh my god, cool! <laughs> Is that the butter salt? Oh, insane. I can't wait. It's insane. Oh, oh my gosh, she's gonna make it all crispy with lemon. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, now we know how it's done. Tell madame. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. Okay, can we take some pictures? No. Yeah, go for it. I'm away. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. All right, this is our last night. We're absolutely devastated. Look at the view. We're setting dinner out. What's up, Dan? It is the most stunning evening. We just came from the pool down here. <laughs> and now we are convening to have dinner here with the most amazing backdrop view of the little town of St. Paul de Vence. And I'm just like pinching myself because this is, this, I, I cannot. I'm so sad we're leaving here tomorrow. This has been like a slice of heaven. Good morning. I'm really sad. Today is the day that we leave the south of France area. We're in Paul de Vence, but we're close to Nice. I was going to call it Nice, but whatever. We're in the south of France, <laughs> as you know. Um, but we didn't, I didn't get to do my little Airbnb tour. So I thought I would do like a checking out tour of this beautiful place we've been staying and show it to you. Oops, why is this so dark? Um, because I just thought it would be too sad to not remember. So we parked down here. These are our beautiful garages. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but for a garage, they really are beautiful. And you walk up this gorgeous staircase with all these beautiful flowers and things. There's like vines. It's just honestly, oh, this is my dream house. <laughs> they have a beautiful little wooden, like rounded door. I'm a sucker for rounded details in houses. And it's just so grand. So you walk into the foyer, there's a little bathroom off the side here. And then there's a beautiful sunken living room, which is just awesome. We spend a lot of time here, but the coolest part is the window here that has the most clear direct view of the town St. Paul de Vence which is this one here where we walked and went to dinner the first night. It's very close, which is super nice. And then it's got a view of the rest of the city down here. Like you can see all the way to Nice. Um, there's an outdoor dining table. Let this light adjust. I just love the Art Deco fireplace. Um, they also have like the best collection of like 90s films. They happen to have one of my favorite movies, two of my favorite movies of all time, Sister Act 2 on DVD. And then they have a bunch of stuff on um vhs even and there's a vhs player in the main bedroom and there's also callie and i were talking about our favorite childhood film a secret garden chime in below and tell me what your favorite is because we were so happy to have sister act 2 and secret garden here there's a piano the spiral staircase is really where it's at because you can see all the way down to the lower floor like it, it creates this really cool like effect i'll show you from the top Got this dining table, show you the kitchen. Again, with like the curved art archways. The art here is all like, this is for Provence. They have one in the living room, it's the boardwalk at Nice. So it all has like really cool original French art, which I love. Kitchen, there's like a whole like laundry room pantry thing back there. We've got the kitchen, just like a nice, I mean, a nice kitchen, but like the outdoor space of this house is really the vibe. There's this amazing outdoor table here. When I show you the pool and the view, probably gonna lose your mind because we did when we first got here. It's just so much space to like entertain and explore. There's so many different levels. Imagine waking up to this view. I'm so sad we're leaving. 
this has been unbelievable and so 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 much fun and such a great way to get a quiet escape from the city and like the hustle and bustle of like how busy it is down by the beaches you can see the water is there so like you can see i'll actually zoom for you guys you can see all the way to the water so that's nice all over there over that hill which is so incredible we have just been having so much fun here i really cannot handle it um and the bedrooms are all like plenty fine and basic there's like six bathrooms which is wild for the three of us for the four of us um this would be the perfect place to rent with friends it was a like pricey like a hotel price for us per person but if you got together with a lot of people it really could be quite affordable especially for the luxury that you get which i think is really cool where we had dinner last night and then this is the main bedroom this is like a little side bedroom where we just put all of our luggage and then up here you have three other bedrooms upstairs but this view is always gonna have my heart oh i could spend a whole nother week i could spend the rest of my life here let's be honest ah now sadly we have to pack up and leave but it's not too sad because we just decided we literally booked our train tickets yesterday and i'm gonna go see one of the places that's been on my vision board for like years and years and years like before i even knew what it was called i had a picture of chinka Terra on my uh like vision board of like all the colorful houses up in the hill and we decided just why not book a train there so we're gonna go there for four days and i'm so excited i've never done a trip i've done trips where i'm not quite sure what's gonna happen but i don't think i think this is the most like don't even have your next place to sleep booked until like the moment so of course it can be a little stressful but we're just going with it it's actually quite fun it's like very cool that we can do that like how amazing that we get to do that i think it's really special so I'm just grateful so it's just like a matter of like a mad dash on booking.com to find something that's like looks clean and safe and affordable and um yeah figuring out the train schedules it's it's kind of cool we were gonna drive but we're like okay we're gonna take this train to here and then do this to here and then we're gonna fly to there so i can't wait to show you guys the itinerary that's unfolding because it is more than i ever imagined i thought we'd do like maybe one more place no no friends we've got something fun coming i'll show you the upstairs just because um the bedrooms i would say are more basic um, but they have, they're comfortable, they're nice. Um, this one has a terrace out looking, but I don't want to unlock the whole thing. It's quite dark up here, but these both have like terrace views, but they have these like things you have to open. Um, you have to open these like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like things to like look outside. This one I can probably do, but the one in there has like a fold up, like bodega style, like curtain thing. But the bathrooms are all super updated and nice. It's been really nice to have like a luxury bathroom moment. Let's just do this because I really want to see what's out here again. <gasps> okay, well, it is a small patio, but does it have a glorious view? Going back, I would like journal or something up here because this is amazing. <laughs> Come on. Wow. The other one also has a patio right here. Okay, this is the stairway moment I wanted to show you. How freaking cool is this? 